All right, so right here in front of me, I have my two demo clocks. We've got this clock here with its control board hanging out because it doesn't have a casing. We have the NTP server right here, uh, the GPS module, ceramic antenna. So this is the time reporting device. This is a control clock. This clock is connected to the internet and retrieving time from an NTP server off site. So this is the control. We'll see that when I mess with these things and make these ones do stuff, this one stays the same. Currently it is almost 11 o'clock in the morning. And we've got our NTP server here. Now, a lot of the time this blinking LED will actually sync with the clock here. Right now it's not really, but that is interesting. Now, another in cool thing that I've noticed, not cool, but interesting nonetheless, is this clock is almost always three seconds behind this one. I don't know why. It probably has something to do with latency in the GPS system, um, but it's right now it looks like it's only two seconds back, maybe two and a half, but it's usually any, around three seconds. Um, sometimes it gets a little bit closer. It doesn't usually, it does, I haven't seen it fall any farther behind though, so it, it stays pretty much on three seconds behind. But if you set these clocks to not display the seconds and it was two or three seconds behind, it wouldn't really make a huge difference especially since it does sync, so it would never drift any more than three seconds behind and it would never get ahead. Um, so it would, never be, it would never get really off. So now to do the actual demo. Um, this one here is connected to the Wi-Fi, so this one is our control group. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna un disconnect the GPS module from the NTP server and reboot it. And then when I reboot the clocks, I'll reboot both clocks and you guys will see that as one reconnects to the Wi-Fi, as this one reconnects to the Wi-Fi, it will get the right time back. This one will scrape the NTP server, but since the NTP server does not have a, a real-time clock on board, unpowering it will get rid of the time it has stored. And if I unplug the GPS module, it won't be able to get the time again. So it, it should be very inaccurate once I do that. So, first step is going to be to unplug the NTP server to clear its memory. Then, we want to pull the voltage pin on the GPS module. Basically just take, cutting the power to the GPS module. And if we plug this the NTP server back in here, you can see the, G the LED on the GPS module no longer lights up, which means we no longer have a GPS module. So now, if I was to, oh, I don't know, disconnect the control board from this LED matrix, you can see it just freezes, and plug the control board back in, causing the firmware to reboot, which you'll see here. And if I reboot this one artificially, really quick, this one's got a battery in it, so you can't just unplug it, you gotta hold these down. So when this one comes back on, you should see, it should have a very inaccurate time for you. So you can see there's the local IP that it has on the, on the network. Okay, so it thinks it's, it thinks it's five o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday. This one knows that it is almost 11 a.m. on a Thursday. So this clock is wrong. This clock is right. So now, if I plug the GPS module back in here, it might just sync. No. So to get the clock to kind of recheck, um, you do have to reboot it again, which is interesting, I've found. Now, normally it does run check every every now and so often, so that it can, so it w it would rectify itself if I let it, but it might take a few hours, and I don't have that kind of time to make this video. So you see here, if it reconnects, now the GPS module is reconnected, it has the correct time again. It's actually closer into sync now. It's only one second behind. So yes, this is the offline time reporting device. This clock, this is not connected to the internet in any way. As you can see, when I unplugged this GPS module. It completely forgot what time it was. It had no idea. Plugging the GPS module back in, now it has an idea. Um, the only cables coming to these are power. Um, there's no data coming into these from anywhere else, um, except for, as I said, this one is connected to the Wi-Fi as a control group. But yeah, that is this, this device in action, demoed, and I'll have some screenshots of the code and stuff um, down below so that you guys can take a look at that. But yeah, that's how this thing works. And uh, see you all in the next one. Goodbye.